Hey everybody, I want to show you a couple more tricks about Legends in ArcGIS Pro. Um, I've already shown you how you can dynamically change the layer name and the heading, uh, but I'm going to show you where to find those in the properties. So in my layout, I'm going to insert a legend. I'm working with some really interesting data from the countyhealthrankings.org website. Um, and this is the percent of the population of each county that's a smoker. And so two things, we don't need this layer name, uh, but we do want to preserve the variable that we're showing and we definitely need to clean these guys up. So if I double click to go into the legend properties, um, we can start with the first window over here. This, this shows just some of the basic stuff, but it's a way to make sure that you, if you're working with multiple map frames with different symbology, for example, you can change the legend that you are choosing to apply. You can also do that just by having the right map frame activated when you insert the legend. We're going to go into the Show Properties button here. We can just turn off the layer name, right? That's one quick way to do it. And then leave the heading. The label is the description that we see here. But notice down here that we can set that up in different ways. If you wanted it to read right to left or left to right, um, we can change these up a little bit. I'm picking all the wrong ones, like that. But we don't need word wrapping. Um, and here is where you could set a background. If you wanted to have like a transparent background, if you were floating it over a map um, or wanted to set it apart in some way. Um, the thing I want to point out to you is that if you do use a border, let's just put a, a simple border on it. If I click off that, it's a little bit crowded. And so what I like to do is use this XY gap. Um, a tenth of an inch can be a little bit big, but it depends on your page size. But just bumping that gap out a little bit gives you just a little bit of padding, which I think looks really nice. I first wanted to show you the font sizes. So um, text symbol. All right, we can change our font size or our font type here. Let's just do something different. Um, the size is going to apply to the whole thing, but if we just change the font itself, I mean, that's kind of a funky font. We don't necessarily want that, but it is what it is. Um, but we want to have a different font size for our header. Um, and so what you want to do is notice that up here we're dealing with the whole element of the legend. Um, and what we want to do is go into the legend items and change this to just dealing with the headers. So instead of affecting everything, we just want to focus on just the headings. And so here we can go in and bump up that font size just for our title, OK? And then just to kind of wrap it up really quick, um, let me show you again how to do the labels here. That's in the symbology pane, not in the legend itself. Going in here to the advanced symbology options, we want to format the labels. Um, and I would say that we could control either the decimal places and get rid of them, right? Or um, significant digits if we wanted to, or just leave one. Whoopsie. One decimal place in there. Okay. And there's your nice clean legend.